What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so I did check the Shoal Cave. Still on high tide, and it would appear that it won't be going to low tide anytime soon. I, yeah, it, it, it's, it's time-based, and if you try to change any kind of time Base Darius right here onto your 3DS. It's gonna it's gonna pause everything for a whole day. So yeah, kind of don't want to do that right now. So the next thing we're gonna be doing is a little something that I just figured out, and I kind of want to show you guys. That way we can uh, move on with our episode right here. So as you can see, we're right next to the Weather Institute. Now, believe it or not, in in Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Zapphire, you can actually get yourself both bikes instead of one because. In some areas that you'll you'll be seeing, some areas that you'll be seeing over in like the Mirage Islands and all that stuff, it will require you to have both bikes and all that stuff. And if you don't have both bikes, you're kind of screwed. So, if you guys may have remembered, a while back when we were at the desert, we found a creepy girl. I don't remember. Yeah, we found a creepy girl that can actually like that just complimenting us for using a mock bike. Uh, up, uphill and all that stuff. She's then disappeared and all that stuff. So that's one thing that you can activate. Now, if we're right here, if I'm not mistaken, it's right here somewhere that you can actually find the next person. And that person will probably compliment you on the acro bike right here. Or not the, the well, the not, yeah, the acro bike, yes. The other girl will actually compliment, compliment you with the mock bike. So what I'm going to do right now is not going to do that. So, let's go straight right here, and, oh, there is something right there in my way, so I'm going to use the Devon Scope, and where is, yep, yeah, he is right there, and he attacked, god dang it, oh, Jesus, so, there is a Kecleon on our, in our way, and I kind of want to beat it, by running away, that's right, guys, Draven runs away from Kecleons. Okay, so let's move on forward right here and just bounce our way. Now, this area right here will actually have a few trainers, like a few trainers here and there. So, just make sure to be ready. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to switch out to to Raiden right here. And I'm going to take care of the rest by having this guy see me. And yes, he, he's not really a good uh, hide-and-seek person. Not a very good ninja. His name is Hideo, not related to Hideo Nomo, the baseball player, but... Hideo the Ninja, and here comes Raiden in his own natural habitat when it's raining. That's right. So many of you guys already know, when it rains, it kind of throws some lightning, and lightning becomes powerful with the rain. Yeah, buddy. Suck it, coffee. Oh, yes. Look at that. And, of course, I have Nessie on my team. Just the baby form, and it's going to be growing some levels right here. And it wants to learn some mist. I don't want to teach it. Whatever. Yeah, there are some Pokemon that I had to breed from other versions just to bring them over to this game right here. And, well, it's doing a great job right now. Very, very good job. And, well, let's go again with another Discharge. There we go, Raiden. For the win. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that, Nessie. Growing levels, and it's learning Confuse Ray. You guys, man, if you guys don't remember, or if you guys are new to my uh, channel, uh, Nessie was one of my Pokemon from Pokemon Crystal. Very, very good Pokemon. It actually replaced Lucky. So, it's a very good addition to my team. And that will actually take me back to the other area. So, I'm going to go right here. And, what the hell? Right there. Okay, so, here we're going to actually find a... TM, which is TM62 Acrobatics. Very good move for flying type Pokemon. And well, I'm gonna just fly back right here and go straight right here. And there is the man. So if you talk to this guy, he's like, nice jump! So you can do that kind of stuff with, uh, with a bike too! So once you talk to him, it will actually activate a little something. It actually activated a little something because we talked to the little goth girl near the desert. So that's taken care of. And bam, we found ourselves a rare candy. And this is actually a very good location for a secret base. So now, after we've done that, I'm going to be using the Eon Flute. And I'm going to be going straight to Mauville City. Because we just activated something pretty big. And it will be helpful for us in our adventure. So let's go... 
right here to Mallville City. We don't need to do the hyper, uh, the hyper speed or anything like that. So look at that, flying back down, and bam, slide, just like a baseball. Okay, so our little thing is activated. I don't know if I put the footage here, but I think I probably did put the footage there. I don't even know, but now we're gonna be going straight to the bike shop and well talk to the guy right here and he's like oh were you thinking about switching bikes okay no problem you are you ready to switch bikes uh okay ah oh, snap okay so there's something that i forgot there is something that i forgot to get the urge uh do it again actually you know what okay so we activated the other one so i'm gonna pause right here Check out what the next place, or uh, well, the next thing I need to do. Yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about. Hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so the next person that we have to go to, it won't be until after the Elite Four and we get into the Delta episode, guys. So sorry about that. But, you know, never fear, we got other stuff to do right here. We do, we really do. So, after all that stuff, uh, let's see, there's nothing really that you can do. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go to spots that I need to take care of, like, you know, waterfall places. That way, you know, we get everything out of the way. Now, there is something that has uh, caught my attention, and it happens to be a text message, because I always get text messages. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I always get text messages because I'm very, very popular with everybody. Not really. I got no friends. So, uh, let's see. Another place that's caught my attention right here is Fall Arbor Town. And as you can see, there's two Mirage Islands right there, which well, I'll probably be going to off screen. But Fall Arbor Town has a little something here that they've actually uh, well brought in after the whole um, Groudon Kyogre uh, incident. So, if you go to Fall Arbor Town right here, no, I will not be needing a repel. Go straight to the corner right here on Route 114, and you'll be able to find an individual right here that sells some stones. You go straight right here, talk to him. Welcome, welcome. Uh, okay, what do you do? Buy. I'm gonna buy. What stone would you like to buy today? Well, he does have uh, well, quite a f quite a few stuff right here. So I'm gonna go. Let's go with uh, loneliness. Oh, I see you appreciate the value of this hard stone. How very discerning. The shape, the color, the texture of this stone doesn't seem there uh, to be an atmosphere about it. A feeling as though someone is alone in space. Especially for you. I'll sell the stone for $45,000. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What? Uh, let's see. What? What should I buy? Okay, so let's go ahead and go with Fading Fire. Well, for beginners, this may suffice. Its texture suggests a fire in the flickering moments of its brink of snuffing out. Uh, let's see, that's not too bad, wouldn't you say? We'll sell this down for 1500 Yes. And, bam, we get ourselves the Blazing Knight. Believe it or not, guys, I do have a Torchic on me. And, let's see, talk to him one more time. And old boy right here will actually go, let's see, let's go with EBB Tide. Well, for beginners, this may suffice. Its texture is suggestive of a seashore exposed after a tide has gone out. That's not too bad, do, don't you agree? I'll sell this stone for 1500 Yes. And bam, we get ourselves the Swamper Tite. And yes, guys, I do have Swamper on my team. So there you go, guys. That's the place where you actually can get the other two, you know, starter Pokemon's uh, Mega Stones right there. So now... I'm going to go in straight to the waterfall because I got to go to waterfall. Don't be chasing waterfalls. TLC. And, well, let's see. And anyway, let's go right here with the super repel. And let's see what's up top right here because, uh, you know, this big old waterfall right here has been in my way for quite some time. So let's go, Nessie. Do your thing. And as you can see, there is, a, uh, there is an item right there. And we found ourselves another rare candy. Pretty cool, pretty awesome. Gravy, okay, so let's move on. I think there's another place right here that we can actually go to, and I'm like moving around right here, guys. Sorry for, sorry about that, but you know, as a partial gym owner and all that stuff, you get phone calls every single day. Okay, so let's see. Uh, 
I've already captured every single Pokemon in this area. Now, if you guys are wondering what Pokemon you can capture, I'll tell you after I see Team Scooters right here. Shout out to Team Scooter. And, well, I'm going to get the heck out of right here. So, in Route 114, the newer Pokemon you can actually find, let's see, uh, Mr. Viz, Drapion, uh... What was it? What was it called? Uh, that Toad Pokemon that in Unova. I can't remember. A tadpole something. I don't even know. But I captured all the Pokemon right here. And, well, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go straight to the, uh, Medi or the Meteorite Falls. Because there is a waterfall in there that I kind of want to check out. I know that I, sh I know that I could go there, uh, well, later on in my adventure. But I kind of want to do it right now. That way I don't have to, like, you know, rush through everything and every and anything else. So let's go straight to the uh, Meteorite Falls. That's right. Just when you thought the deer were going to get, a, like, both bikes. Instead, you got a Meteorite Falls. That's right, guys. All right. So here we are in Meteorite Falls. And there is absolutely nothing right there. But, yeah, I'm wasting a whole bunch of repels. That's the reason why. There's a big old waterfall. There is a Pokeball right there. The last time we were in here... We were, yeah, the last time we were in here, we were taking on Team, Team, uh, whatchamacallit, Magma and all that stuff. We didn't go anywhere else, and now, we just need to go take care of a few other things right here now. Because this is the home to quite a few Dragon-type Pokemon. Uh, Drudagon's pre of all form, uh, or actually, no, that Drudagon, <laughs> Drudagon is a single Pokemon right here. You can actually find Drudagon right here. Uh, let's see. I don't know what else book, what else you can actually find right here, but let's see. Oh, wow. You can go from the lower floor right here. Okay, okay. I see what you're talking about, but I do like the texture right here where you can actually the, actually see the bottom part right here. This actually kind of looks like Pokemon uh, Sun and Moon's kind of a uh, version. If you guys don't know, in Sun and Moon, the only spots you can actually capture Pokemon are the areas where the, there are rocks like this. And, well, to be quite honest... It kind of makes it a little tough for me or anybody else to actually try and capture specific uh, water type Pokemon. But, eh, whatever. I haven't been on that, that game in quite some time. And we found ourselves a Great Ball right here. By the way, there are trainers right here too. So, be prepared. Some strong, strong Dragon type Pokemon. And, god dang it. Ugh, okay, here we go. All right, let's move around. Let's blade. And yes, that kind of sounds like a soul rock right there. But there is a big old waterfall right here. And thanks to Nessie, I'm going to go straight up this bitch right here. Look at that. Oh, yes. Okay, alrighty. And is there anything else right here that I need to cover? No, just a few entrances yeah, here and there. You know, that kind of stuff. So let's go straight right here. And oh, there's nothing right there. Even though I kind of want to, I kind of wished it was. Uh, another Pokemon you can actually find in this area right here, guys, is uh, what's his face? Uh, Bagon. Off screen, I did get a Bagon uh, through a trade, not trade, but uh, through the Pokemon Bank. So I really don't need to capture that Pokemon. And I see a Dragon Tamer. So let's do this. We're gonna be battling. Alrighty. So let's go with a Desert Storm. It's been a while. A hot minute. And I'm going to go straight down the stairs first. <laughs> Sorry, guys. And, wow, look at that. It's another entrance right here, and there's a battle girl right here. And she spots us. My muscles are, are trying to tell me something. They want me to battle you. Oh, really? What else do your muscles tell you? I don't know. They want to kick me or something? But here she comes out with a mind shao. Look at this Pokemon right here. Majestic looking. It kind of looks like it's wearing a sweater. A very, very floppy sweater. So here we go, let's get this. Mind show, you got nothing on me. And here it comes with this wide guard. And you protected yourself, okay. And let's see, wide guard, oh wait, what the hell? What the hell, another wide guard? Ah, oh, jeez. And here we go, fly attack. Destroys him. That's right, floppy sweater kid. Okay, and then of course, Nessie's gonna be growing levels. Like a you know what here. And, oh, wow. It is learning Ice Shard. Okay, so let's go right ahead and see what moves it can actually... Eh, okay, well, you know what? Let's take away Water Gun since we already have a Waterfall on this. Yeah, let's go. Ice Shard, first Ice Attack. 
And there goes that battle girl. My muscles are crying. You know, I feel like that sometimes when I work out too. Okay, so that's one down. And, well, let's go ahead and uh, take care of other stuff right here. I do not want to battle any of these Pokemon right now. Uh, so, of course, there's going to be some Dragon Tamers around this area. So, let's go upstairs and look at that. Here's an entrance that we haven't seen before. And, huh. That is a, that is a Pokemon right there. I could... Let's see. I gotta I gotta see if there's like any kind of items right here because that's what it looks like. Let's see. Where are you? Dowsing machine. It's been a while. Nope, nothing. I look like, I look like an ant. Yes. Okay, so let's get down here. And let's go ahead and battle some more trainers. I guess. Kind of like sad face and all that stuff. So Lexi, gonna go down. God dang it! See, using the controller pad right here, and, well, let's go ahead and battle this guy right now. I'm not into this costume. I'm a dragon trainer, though, so I have to wear it. So you have to be like a dragon superman or something, yet you're not super. Look at this! Dragon tamer, Dre, and, uh, well, he's coming out with a, a, yeah, Altaria. Dre! Dr. Dre right here. Not so Dr. Dre. And here we have the battle of the dragon Pokemon, so let's go with the dragon claw. Destroy him. Look at that. Alteria has been destroyed. Yeah, buddy. And of course, Nessie's gonna be growing levels. Like crazy. Eh, what a better way to grow levels than just to do that. And yes, it's a big old misunderstanding because you still attack me. So let us move on right here. And well, there's another stair area right here. Eventually, the Meteor Falls will. Well, Meteor Falls does have a significant. Uh, you know, meaning to this place right here. There is a significant meaning, I should say. Uh, but we won't be getting into that until way later on. So, let's go right ahead and just battle this old couple right here. We're always battling our Pokemon against each other, so we're confident. It's been 50 years since we got married. Nothing can break our bonds of matrimony. Are you sure about that? Okay, so, here we go. Old couple, John and Jay. Wanting to come out with a Meteor Cham, a Medicham, and a uh, Hariyama. Look at that, two fighting Pokemon. Alrighty, Sage of the Halo and Desert Storm. Let's go with. Uh, uh, we can go with Earth uh, Rock Slide. Let's let's just try and defeat these guys both. And yeah, that's right. Mega Evolution, Leaf Blade onto Hariyama. Okay. Oh yeah, it's been a while since I've used Mega Evolution. Well, not not a while, while. If you guys don't remember, Sceptile, Mega Sceptile was the reason why we caught ourselves uh, the Groudon. And well, here we go, Leaf Blade, partially for the win because this guy used Endure. And here we go, Rock Slide, hitting them both. Yeah, but oh, well, only one. God dang it. But it actually worked uh, in our in our favor right there because it can well it just like you know whatever uh, didn't have a Medicham attack or anything. So let's go with the Leaf Blade and let's go finish this Le uh, Hariyama off. Here we go, Leaf Blade. Take that, Hariyama. Yeah, big ol' sumo wrestling mother lover. Look at that. And uh, look at that. Desert Storm grows level 52. Awesome. And look at that. Sage of the Halo grows level 58, and the rest of my Pokemon are just like mooching off this whole experience. And it, it, oh, look at that! Nessie wants to learn Water Pulse. That's a girl. Okay, so we're just gonna give that to Nessie. And bam, Water Pulse, and it's growing levels again. So here we go, Dragon Claw. Finish this guy off. Not really. And well, here comes an Acupuncture technique. Okay, so the special attack has risen. Okay, so let's go. And Dragon Claw, you know what? Screw it. Leaf Blade. Destroy everybody. Anybody played Destroy All Humans? I have. It's pretty awesome. Until my little brother took it and just like destroyed it all. I mean, shoot. He loved that game. And Vesuvius grows level 51. 41, I should say. And bam. Oh no, we lost any! Oh no, we lost, sweetie. Yes, you've lost to the best trainer in the game right here. And, well, let's see. Is there anything else right here? No, nothing. Nothing for the time being. So, let's continue our adventure right here into the Granite Cave. 
crap, 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 crap. Did I just go the wrong way? Maybe. Oh no, there's a Pokemon trainer right here. This is where the Dragon Tamers do our training. The champion even visits. Now do you see how special it is here? Okay. The trainer, or the, 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 the whatchamacallit, the, the, the champion. So here we go, another uh, Dragon Tamer. Coming out with a Desert Storm, and I'm coming out with my own Desert Storm. And so let's see whose Desert Storm is faster. Desert Storm going with the Desert Storm attack, and I'm getting another text message. God dang it. Why am I so popular? I don't know. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. And Nessie growing levels like crazy. That a Nessie, look at that. And it's learning Body Slam, a very, very important move that I will be teaching it. I'm going to take away Water Pulse since, you know, again, Waterfall. I already have it. Look at that. And bam. Defeated the Dragon Trainer. Yes, I was that strong. Very, very strong. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I think I went the right way. Okay, so... Oh, damn. Um, okay, so let's see. I've already defeated every single one of these guys. I could... Ah, oh, crud. I think I may have gone the wrong way. Probably. Yeah, I went the wrong way. So, yeah, I'm going to use another repel. Yeah, I kind of screwed the pooch right there. So, let's go towards the very end right here. And see where this area takes me. And try not to rush it. Oh, dang it! I see something! And I'm gonna have to get it right now. So, crud baskets on a crud critical stick. Let's see. Can I go somewhere right here? Can I Can I at least get back to the very top? Yes, I can. Okay, so here we are. Back to the top. And... Uh, Jeebus. Jeebus sticks. Okay. Yeah, so I kind of uh, messed up right there. So I'm gonna have to go back... See, this is what happens when you have a happy, happy trigger hand, guys. It just, it, you just make mistakes out of the nowhere. So, I do apologize for that. And, yes, I gotta use another repel, because I don't want to battle any of these Pokemon right here. Okay, side questing at its finest. Okay, alrighty. So, let's see, we're going back right here. Let's see, um... Okay, so down right here. And... Nope, that's not the area right there. And there it is. Okay, so here is another one. The Aerodictone Light. Aerodictite. Aerodictal Light. Yeah, that's what it was called. Aerodictal Light. Oh my god, Aerodictal Light. Okay, so that's another Mega Stone for our collection right there. And yes, guys, I do have an Aerod... Uh, uh, an Aerod... Or Aerodactyl. And there is something right here that I haven't caught... So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have to be a little easy on this, easy on this. Oh, look at that! Okay. God dang it! It is a Clefairy. Okay, alrighty. So a Pokemon that I have not captured is right here, and that is Clefairy. Alrighty, and of course. It says it on its name. It is a fairy type Pokemon, so I'm gonna have to be careful with this Pokemon just because it could mess me up. Any dragon type moves on this? Nothing. And, well, it's a critical hit right there. And here comes that Meteor Mash. Ooh, super powerful. And, ooh, it's increased its attack. Okay. So let's go ahead and try and capture this Pokemon. Right now, the mission for me is to just, uh, yeah, fill up the Pokedex. Have all my teams onto this uh, onto this version, as you guys probably already know. Uh, completed quite a few walkthroughs, so we're we're, we're getting there. Uh, Heart Gold is making its rounds. I've you guys already seen the episode where I captured Hercules the Heracross, which is pretty cool. And well, what else is there to do? Yeah, eventually you'll see the fully evolved forms, the complete team, and all that stuff. And look at that. Got ourselves a Clefairy. On every night of the moon, noon, full moon, groups of this Pokemon come out to play. When Drawn or Dawn of All uh, arrives, the tired Clefairy return to their quiet mountain retreats and go to sleep nestled up against each other. It's a nice, it's a nice kind of a gesture right there for these Clefairies. Okay, so that's done. 
think there is like one little section that we need to take care of as well. Let's see. Um, yeah, we have to go back down right here. And... Huh. I think... Let's see. There is a section... Oh, yeah, you know what? There is a section here that we forgot to take care of. Completely forgot. And, well... News update right here, guys. I completed capturing every single Pokemon in this uh, in this area right here. If you guys don't know how to how to like how to monitor that, just check on your neck uh, your decks now, and it will show you a crystal or a platinum version of a uh, platinum form of the crown. That usually says that you've captured every single Pokemon. And well, I guess I'm doing a great job right here. So here we are. I'm going to use another repel. How many repels have we used up? Now, right here in this section, you will be able to find Bagon. Or, I guess, yeah. You, you will be able to find Bagon in this section right here. Already caught one. So, I'm going to go right here because there is an item. TMO2 Dragon Claw. A very, very good dragon type move. Very beneficial for us. And, well, let's see. I'm going to go straight back down. And... Well, let's go right ahead and see what else we can actually find right here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Is there anything else that we can find? Nope, there's a Pokemon that we already captured. And yeah, there's a section right here that we haven't gone to yet. And I guess you'll find another item right here. And look at that, the PP Max, which is basically, uh, you know, an item that can actually... Uh, what was it? Uh, fill out your PP. Not the not the typical joke right there, but uh, it will max out your PP, uh, your Pokemon's power points and all that stuff. It can't be saying PP because you know PP really sounds wrong, especially for a child game right here. Okay, so that is pretty much it right there, guys, for this episode. I'm sorry that I kind of like. Oh wow, I'm sorry that I f I filled up your your. Or your, your hopes just a little for getting both bikes. And I kind of think that... It, I kind of think that it's going to put something on hold right here. I kind of haven't decided yet, but... Eh, screw it. Whatever. I'm going to go straight over here. Uh, the next area that we're going to be going straight to is... Uh, well, we're going to be going into the Pokemon uh, Safari Zone. That is one place we have yet to visit. And then, uh, let's see. Is there anything else that we need to take care of? Pacific Lockdown. I think I could save that for uh, the Reggies and stuff. Yeah, that's probably what it, what's going to happen. So, thank you guys again for watching this episode. I will be back for another fun-filled episode in the Safari Zone. So, thank you guys for watching. See you guys.